is also um, in terms of the social media. So the title of this topic is Ways on How to Improve Our Market, market Hunt. So right now, um, the pandemic is easing. Diba? Before we cannot go out, uh, we are on quarantine or we are on lockdown. That's why we cannot utilize the uh, physical contact. But one way to improve our market hunt is to do a physical contact within our uh, potential consumers. So we uh, gather natin sila in one place. We will invite them to do a uh, to do a facial demonstration para matry nila yung products natin and. Um, sooner or later, they can also be a distributor if they will like our products. But there is also some ways on how we can utilize uh, or how we can improve our market hunt even without the physical contact. So, ito yung mga topics natin within this area. The first one is what matters in atomy, two types of people in doing atomy, how to use, utilize social media and atomy mobile application, set rules for yourself, and of course, communication. So, ano ba yung nagmamatter dito sa Atomy? Sometimes we ask ourselves, um, meron bang age limit ang Atomy? If, uh, for registration, of course, there is a uh, limitation. We can register in Atomy when we are 18 years old and above, not below because eh, hindi pa legal age on. But here in Atomy, what ma uh, your age and your race, even you are a woman, a man, or or silahis man, or, you know, we, we have this kind of type of person, it doesn't matter in atomy. Our age doesn't matter as well. If we are old, if we are young, it doesn't matter. What matters most in atomy is our mindset. Are we willing to be developed? Are we uh, willing to try new experiences? What are our abilities? Um, are we willing to try new things? Are we on the positive side or are we on a negative side? And are we willing to be dedicated in doing the Atomy business? So, so these are the traits that we have to have in order for us to be successful here in Atomy. And this will, if you yourself have these traits, um, this will also help you to improve in hunting your market. Because if we are locked in in our comfort zone, we are not going to be able to introduce our products to other people. If we ourselves do not try the products, hindi magiging effective yung pag introduce din natin ng products sa ibang tao. So we have to make sure that we are we have these traits or we are open to have these traits to, uti to be utilized in using within our Atomy business. Now, dito sa Atomy, we have two types of people doing Atomy. So, based on my experience, we have what we call the victims and the victors. Yung victims dito sa Atomy, these are the people who are always complaining. Bakit ganito yung application? Bakit ang bagal ng application? Bakit hindi mo sa akin sinend yung picture? Bakit, um, bakit, ano, bakit ang mahal nito? Bakit, bakit ganun yung product? Everything is complaint. But then we also have this uh, type of person, uh, people here in Atomy, which is what we call the victors. So ito yung mga positive people. Instead of complaining a lot about the business, about the products, they are trying to uh, find a way on how they can improve their Atomy business or how they can improve their ways of introducing Atomy to others. So, ito yung two types ng tao dito sa Atomy. Uh, we just have to make sure that we will not be victimized by the victims. Kasi pagka we considered ourselves to be victors and na-victimize tayo ng mga victims, yung, ano natin, yung mindset natin maiiba. Diba? Kasi parang magiging negative, na, magiging negative din tayo. So make sure that we will not be affected by the victims. Now, dito sa Atomy, we also have uh, the word wait. Waiting. Lagi tayong nagiintay. Lagi tayong nagaantay sa iba. Wala tayong sariling initiative. Dito sa Atomy, waiting is very bad. Kasi kung lagi lang tayong nagiintay sa iba, wala tayong yung initiative na gawin yung sarili nating effort, then our business will suffer. 
Kasi dito sa atomy, doing atomy is a journey, not a race. But you always have to be the first. Kasi, for example, kung hari, meron akong gustong i-approach na tao, but then nahihiya ako kasi inaantay ko yung business partner ko na samahan niya ako eh para, para, ano, para magkasama kami to do the facial demonstration. Ngayon, since atay ako ng antay sa business partner ko, kasi yung business partner ko, she's really busy in, do, in doing her own business kasi she wanted to improve her business. Nag-antay ako sa kanya, I waited for two weeks. Now the time comes that my business partner is already available for to be with me. But then, nung no, in-approach ko yung potential consumer ko, na-register na pala siya ng iba. So, does it do bad for me? Of course, yes. Because hindi ko sana, hindi ko nakuha yung potential consumer ko na magiging automatic consumer ko sana kasi I waited. So, always remember that doing Atomy business takes ownership. So, when we have our Atomy ID, it is considered that we own a business. So, we have to do whatever it takes for our business to be successful. And one thing that we can uh, do is practice. Practice on um, approaching people. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, magiging effective tayo sa pag approach sa ibang tao or sa pag introduce ng product, first of all, is kung gagamitin natin ang products. Always remember na pag naging uh, distributor tayo ng Atomy or pag ginawa natin yung Atomy business, we are considered to be a walking testimony. Kasi uh, nakikita ng ibang tao yung uh, difference sa atin. So sila na mismo yung magtatanong din sa atin kung ano yung ginagamit natin. And then when we share our experiences to other people, we are practicing to be confident. Alam ko mahirap na maging confident tayo in you know, promoting minsan nga yung ibang tao, hindi pa makapag-post sa Facebook nila kasi nahiya. I myself has had this one. It took me a month before makapag-post ako sa Facebook ko kasi nahiya ako eh. Kasi this is network marketing and alam naman natin, for example, sa Pilipinas, network marketing has really a very bad reputation. Kaya pag dito, nandito tayo sa Europe, for example, nagpo-post tayo ng products about Atomy and people knows that Atomy is a network marketing business. Minsan nahihiya tayo kasi this is network marketing and network marketing has a really bad reputation. But Atomy is not the same because Atomy is rewriting the history of network marketing. So this is uh, a kind of practice. I'm sorry. Now, the next topic is how to utilize social media and Atomy mobile application. So always remember that if we commit ourselves to social media and our Atomy application or, you know, Atomy website, it, a social media will also commit to us. Sorry for that. Water. So yeah, if we commit ourselves to social media and our mobile application, it will also be committed to us. Because always remember that people who looks at your post or people who looks at your profile they are curious about what you do. They are curious and they are silently looking at you. So, wag tayong mahihiya na magpo-post sa social media because people are silently curious about us. So, um, di, nag, naglagay ako dito ng mga dapat nating gawin in order for us to utilize social media because this will really improve our market lalo na sa Atomy. Now, all add-on. Alam ko, uh, our Facebook is personal. Pero yung most of the people that are doing the business is utilizing social media because of the business. So, a tip, ang ginagawa ko is I add friends kahit hindi ko sila kilala, pumupunta ako sa mga uh, groups like for example, Filipinos in Holland, Filipinos in Belgium, Filipinos in Switzerland, 
lahat-lahat, alam naman natin that Filipinos are everywhere and they are really wanting to do a business wherein they can really get a lot of benefits. So why not add friends? Kahit hindi nyo kilala, add nyo lang ng ad, add nyo lang. Add nyo lang sila ng ad. And when you post something on your Facebook story or your Facebook post, papanoorin nila yan. And they will be curious of what you do. And then sooner or later, if yung curiosity nila, hindi na nila mapigilan, they will ask you, what are you doing? And what is the products, what is this product good for? So always add on or all add on. I-add nyo na lahat kahit hindi nyo kakilala. And then, use the application in social media with intention. So remember, compose lang tayo ng post about our lives, about our, uh, about the food or whatsoever. Kung wala tayong intention in using the social media, our post is just useless. So dadaan lang yan sa wall natin, but then it will not create curiosity within our uh, audiences. So kailangan... Yung mga ipopost natin it with, is with intention. So for example, magpo-post ako ngayon about Himuhim, about my experience with Himuhim. Uh, na it, it helped me to battle my COVID uh, when I was in Thailand. So I created an awareness because my intention is to share my experience to my audience. Ano yung experience na, na gusto kong i-share sa kanila? Experience ko is how... Uh, how Atomis Himu Him helped me battle my COVID situation. So this will create awareness to all my audiences and to those who had COVID or are recent or are um, yung may mga COVID ngayon. So then they will be curious and they will ask me, oh Arjus, how can I how can I purchase this product or ano-ano po ba yung mga benefit ng product na yan? So always remember to use social media with intention. Kasi kung wala naman tayong intention, useless lang, sayang lang yung time natin. Uh, time natin ng pagpo-post or pag-scroll. Dapat hindi yung ibang tao. Kasi imagine, um, nakoconsume natin yung oras natin sa pagtingin ng mga post ng iba. Dapat we have to reverse our mindset. Kailangan tayo yung makakakonsume ng time nila on checking what are we posting. Diba? Normally, ang mga pinapost lang naman natin is the benefits of our product. So, kailangan we have to create an awareness and curiosity out of our post. Then, next one is give yourself a system regarding social media use. So, ano yung sinasabi ko dito about the system? Kasi if we don't have a system in posting, baliwala lang din. Diba? Magkakaroon tayo ng gap. For example, for me, my system is I post, I wanted to post on social media three times a week. But as I've said on my first presentation, almost every day na ako nagpo-post kasi I wanted to, I wanted my audiences to learn something about what I'm posting para to create curiosity. Kasi nga pagka na-curious sila, magtatanong sila kung ano ba yung, ano ba yung gusto kong iparating sa kanila eh, di ba? So, kailangan meron tayong sistema. Kayo lang yung makaka-create niyan kasi this is your business. So, you have to create your own system. Hindi, hindi makaka-create yung sponsor nyo or yung business partner nyo ng system for you. Kasi lahat tayo, may iba't iba tayong sistema or may iba't iba tayong ability that we have to utilize it. We have to just utilize it. Then, next one is have a correct mindset. So, in using social media, kung wala tayong correct mindset, kung ano-ano lang yung pinopost natin na hindi naman importante, hindi rin yun magiging beneficial for our business. But if we have a correct mindset that that uh, gusto lang natin silang maging aware of what we're doing uh, good in, with good intention, uh, mas mapapalago natin yung market natin and mas mapapalago pa natin yung business natin. So sooner or later, makikita natin na padami ng padami yung mga na register natin sa Atomy system natin. Now, I know that uh, not a lot of people, uh, not all people knows about what is story. For example, what is Facebook story uh, uh, versus Facebook post? So just to give you an idea, Facebook story, ito yung um ito yung pinopost natin na nawawala siya within 24 hours and ito yung mga tinitingnan ng mga tao na curious sa atin. 
ano ba yung pinup- ano ba yung stories natin for the day. So, ang advice ko sa inyo, sometimes minsan, may mga audiences ako sa stories ko. Minsan na maabot siya ng 300, ng 400. Because these people are curious of what you do. So, ang advice ko sa inyo, unahan nyo na sila na uh, magtanong kung alam ba nila ang atomy. So, tingnan nyo isa-isa kung sino yung tumingin sa Facebook story nyo and i-message nyo sila. Kasi why, they, why did they look at your story? Kasi curious sila sa, sa ginagawa nyo or curious sila sa gusto nyo iparating sa kanila. Wag, minsan, wag nyo antayin na sila mismo yung magtanong sa inyo kasi it will take ages. Unahan nyo na sila. Isa-isahin nyo yung mga tumingin doon sa Facebook story nyo and itanong nyo sa kanila, Uy, fr- Uy, uh, friend, alam mo na ba yung about Atomy? Alam mo ba yung product na to? That this is good for this, this is good for that. You must try this one. ba? Diba? Kasi kung magtatanong ka, malalaman mo kung interesado ba talaga sila. Or if hindi naman sila interesado, don't worry. Kung hindi sila interesado dun sa certain product na, na pinost mo, don't worry. Kasi Atomy is providing us a wide variety of product. Kung ano, nag-post ka about health but hindi naman sila interesado but they wanted to see what you posted, ask them about something else. Tell them about the toothpaste. Tell them about the shampoo. ba? Diba? Marami tayong options. We just have to utilize it. Then, regarding naman the post, ito yung mga uh, Facebook post or Instagram post na hindi nawawala sa timeline natin unless burahin natin. So, kailangan yung mga post nyo dito is yung very precise information. Ano ba yung nagagawa ng product? Uh, what are the benefits of the product? Bakit kailangan gamitin ng bakit kailangan gamitin ng ibang tao yung product or bakit uh, bakit kailangan nating i-introduce to sa kanila? Bakit nila gagamitin? So for example, um, today ano ba yung pinost ko? Pinost ko uh, nagpost ako ng video, small video like I think 53 second video about the essential oil. I created awareness, I created curiosity kasi in the video makikita nila ano yung klase ng uh, oil na content content ng essential oil. And then dun sa dun sa post ko I um I added ano yung content niya, it is 100 ml, ano yung importante na importante na mga ingredients na nandoon like for example, uh, avocado oil Uh, jojoba oil, gano'n-gano'n. Kasi yung ibang tao, curious kung ano yung content ng product. Hindi mo naman kailangan ilagay doon yung ingredients na very scientific kasi walang makakaintindi nun. Always remember that you have to put something that people can easily understand. Kasi kung hindi naman nila maiintindihan yung, maiintindihan yung pinos mo, useless lang din yun. ba diba? Kung scientific yung ilalagay mo doon, Uh, sa post mo, babaliwalaan lang nila yun. But then, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of experiences na nagtatanong sila, uy sis, ano yung ano, ano yung, ano tong jojoba oil, para saan ba to? So then, when, when this person asked me, then I google it, what is jojoba oil, then I send this information to this person. Why? Why did I do that? Kasi I know that this person asked me a question because this person is interested with the product already. Kaya siya nagtanong sa'yo. So then, little by little, sasabihin ko, oh sis, sige na, try mo na tong product na to. You can purchase this through our online shopping mall, but you have to be a member. So, paunti-unti, makukuha ko siya to be a member. ba? Diba? Out of the curiosity f- from my post. Then, the power of video. Um, alam ko hindi lahat tayo is gumagawa tayo ng video about the product. But try to do videos about the product. I-try nyo na gumawa kayo ng video na kayo mismo yung umiinom ng himuhim, kayo mismo yung nag apply ng essential oil sa buhok nyo. Kasi always remember that people buys from people sometimes not because of the product. Kasi nakikita nila na ginagamit nyo. Always remember na um, pag nakikita nila na ginagamit nyo yung product at nakikita nila na maganda yung effect sa inyo, bibili at bibili ang mga taong ito. ba? Diba? So, always remember that. Kaya, utilize to use, uh, to do a video and post it on your social media. So, it's very, very powerful. I, I, 
really love to do videos and I like to post it, but sometimes I lack time. But in one week, I make sure that I have at least two videos na mapopost ko sa social media. The next one. Um, this is Dr. William Edwards, Edward Demings. And sinabi niya na what is the problem in business according to him? Ang problem daw sa business is about the mindset. Kasi lahat, uh, almost, um, I mean, almost lahat ng tao uh, doing the business doesn't have the correct mindset. So ang iniisip lang nila for now is like, what can I earn right now? But they are not thinking about what will what can we earn in the long run. So kailangan when doing the business, we have to have the correct mindset. Diba? We have to be positive. We have to be open-minded to learn new things. We have to try. We have to experience rejections, so on and so forth. Kasi sabi niya, 90, 94% chance of business, 94% is business and 6% is people driven. So tingnan niyo ah, 6% lang is people driven. Um kailangan i kailangan i-correct natin yung mindset natin para maging business driven din business driven din tayo kasi pag naging business driven tayo, mas magiging effective tayo in utilizing our abilities in doing the business. Kasi katulad din ng sinabi niya, everyone is quietly watching you. So as I always reiterate reiterate, kailangan we have to make a awareness with our host. Kailangan nating mag-create ng curiosity. The next next one is to set rules for yourself. Again, mindset, correct mindset. Na explain ko na yan. Feel and be confident. So, etong sinasabi kong feel and be confident. Be confident in explaining about the products or sharing your experience about the products. Kasi tingnan niyo kung for example, nagpe-present ako, kung naka-slouch ako ay nagsasabi ako sa inyo na feel and be confident about what what you're doing? Do you think you will like to uh to listen to me? Of course not. Ganon din pag nagpepresent tayo ng products. Mare, pag sa natin, uy friend, itray mo naman tong product. Tingnan mo, ang ganda na boko. Do you think people will will really um will really believe that the product is working? Of course not. Kung wala kayong uh, confi- kung wala tayong I mean kung wala tayong confidence in promoting our own products hindi rin magiging interesado sa atin yung mga tao hindi rin sila maging curious kaya nga di ba minsan may mga ibang tao bakit kaya itong kapitbahay ko ayaw bumili sa akin bakit pupunta pa siya dun sa sa kabilang kanto para bumili ng product eh pareho na, naman kami ng product this is because of the way on how you present and how you feel when you are presenting your own product. Kasi pag hindi nila na-feel yung confidence mo in presenting the product, hindi sila magtitiwala sa atin. So we really have to be feeling it and be confident in sharing our experience. The next one, be ready. Be ready sa mga magiging... Um, sa mga magiging comment ng ating mga potential consumers. Because sometimes magugustuhan nila, sometimes uh, ire-reject nila tayo, sometimes walang bibili sa atin. That is normal in this business kasi hindi naman natin mapipilit ang mga tao kung ayaw naman talaga nilang bumili. So be ready. Then be on time. This is very, very, uh, ano, very important. Kasi we do not want to waste other people's time because time is precious. So set a rule for ourselves that, for example, very good example is meetings. We have to be on time on the meetings kasi the meeting will start even without you. Kasi we have to respect each other's time. Time is precious. So always remember that. And of course, be excited. Be excited in presenting uh, the products to other people. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kung hindi tayo excited sa pagpe-present ng product sa ibang tao, hindi rin sila maniniwala sa atin or hindi nila ma-feel na, magand- na naging maganda yung effect yung- ng product sa atin kasi hindi nila na-feel yung excitement natin. Then, do online follow-up. So, actually, this follow-up is in the Daily 8 Core. 
and the eight steps to success. Kasi ang atomy, always remember that atomy is a long-term business. Hindi lang to yung active income na makukuha natin ngayon. Hindi lang ang customer natin ay isang beses lang. Ang goal natin is to have our customers become automatic consumers. So for us as distributors, we will have residual income or financial freedom. Kaya kailangan natin i-follow up lagi yung mga customers natin na nag-purchase na from the system. Right? Kasi katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, we have a wide variety of product. Kung hari, itong consumer natin bumili ng health product na yun. Why not follow up natin next time, kamusta yung health product sa kanya? Does it have a good effect? Um, okay naman ba yung feeling niya after trying this health product? And later on, suggest her to try personal products. Um, beauty products kasi nga ang dami nating products. So the power of follow-up is really important if you wanted to improve your market here in Atomy. The next one is communication. So expectation versus reality. Minsan pag pumupunta tayo ng demonstration or meron tayo mga product exposition, ina-expect natin na lahat ng tao bibili. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi natin mapipilit ang isang tao kung ayaw niya. Kasi it also depends on their financial capabilities, nagustuhan ba nila yung product, and nagustuhan ba nila yung presentation natin. So, financial uh, with, with the financial, um, financial status, minsan ang mga tao nagaantay ng sahod. So, hindi natin mapipilit sila na bumili na right now. Kasi nga, mas kailangan nila to provide for their family. So we have to understand that. And we have to uh, be mindful to that. Um, and the next one, pag for example, may mga exposition, ayaw nilang bumili dahil hindi nila nagustuhan yung presentation natin. Dito lalabas yung knowledge natin about the products. Kasi kung sasabi, kung nagpe-present tayo for example ng evening care, itanong sa atin, Uh, para saan ba itong peeling gel? Ilang beses ko ba siya pwedeng gamitin in, in a week? Sabi natin, um, um, ay wait lang, tatanong ko lang, dun, tatanong ko lang dun sa business partner ko. Kasi, ay, nakalimutan ko. So that means that we ourselves are not really so knowledgeable about the products. So make sure kung pupunta tayo na exp exposition or aaten tayo ng mga demonstration, be sure na nagbasa tayo about the products. Diba? Alam ko, ginagamit natin yung products, pero yung iba, hindi nagbabasa about the products. So we have to take our own initiative. Kasi remember, we have to take ownership because this is our business and we have to be doing everything we can to improve our business. Kasi this is our own business. And the next one is, Be ready to communicate with your consumers in a timely manner. So katulad dun sa first presentation ko. Kung nag-message sa inyo yung customer ninyo and nag-respond kayo after two days, magkakaroon dun ng gap. So mawawalan ng trust factor yung consumer natin. Kasi sasabihin nun, ay, binayintahan lang ako nito, pero pag ganito na, pag may, reklamo, pag may reklamo ako sa product or pag may tanong ako, hindi na nag-re-respond uh, sa atin. That is not good. Kasi nga, ang gusto nga natin na, na, na mangyari is i-turn siya as automatic consumer. So, do you think if hindi tayo mag-re-respond in a timely manner, pagkakatiwalaan tayo ng customer natin? Of course not. Always remember that communication is the key here in Atomy. Kasi kung hindi tayo marunong mag-communicate, hindi tayo magiging successful dito. This is a long-term business. Hindi lang tayo sa active income. Ang pinupunto natin dito is the residual income we're in, we will be financially free. And then, of course, the online follow-ups. Katulad din yung uh, in-explain ko kanina. This is in the daily eight core and this is also in the eight steps to success. So therefore, this is essential in our Atomy business.